Amos chapter 3, it begins with, well, with these words, the Lord has spoken. Or, or, or to put it more, I think, appropriately, it says, hear this word that the Lord has spoken. So the Lord has spoken a word, and Israel is, well, they're listening. And, and I want to say this, if, if you're a dad, or if you're a husband, or if you're a mom, or if you're a wife, if you've been chosen to be a leader, or you've been given a job description, or you work for a group or a company, you have a commitment, you have a responsibility. And God has spoken to Israel, and God's chosen Israel. And because of that, they have a commitment, and they have a responsibility. And Amos stands there speaking to them as a reminder that they're responsible as God's chosen people to hear his word and to respond to it, to, to be obedient. And he begins to describe the consequences of their actions, how they've drifted, how they've fallen away. And, and listen to these verses. Can two walk together unless they are agreed? Will a lion roar in the forest when he has no prey? Will a young lion cry out of his den if he's caught nothing? Will a bird fall into a snare on the earth where there is no trap? If a trumpet is blown in a city, will not the people be afraid? On and on again, he's talking about cause and effect. That certain things, when they're done, you realize that, well, it's done for a reason. And here's kind of the bottom line of the whole thing. Hear the word of the Lord Israel and he begins to pronounce consequences for their actions. You're a chosen people, you've been called. God's guided, he's directed, he's established them in a land. And now there's been commitments where two are no longer agreed. Can two walk together? Unless they're agreed to do what they've each been called to do. God's doing his part, but the people of Israel, well, they're failing miserably. So God begins to reach out through the prophet Amos. And, and I would say this, that any time we've been called by God, if you're a Christian, if you've been forgiven, if God's given you his word and he's, he's preparing a place for you in heaven, there's also a, your part to play. There's a commitment. You agree to walk with him, to follow him. And so Amos is coming after the people of Israel with a warning that because you are who you are, well, there's certain consequences and certain expectations in your life. And this is what Amos chapter three is all about. Hey, God's chosen you. He's guided you, he's directed you. And now there's certain expectations and they have failed. And so God is speaking to Amos to let them know he's gonna deal with them as their father, as their God, just like he'll deal with you and I. We have a responsibility based on the relationship with our Lord. That's Amos chapter three.